Hey there folks, Tyler Capozzi here today with a tutorial on how to add time code to your footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now you've got to be using CC for this and I actually did a video on this previously but that method involved using the actual effect time code which generated the time code here in Premiere Pro. This method I'm showing you now involves adding the time code during the export process. So once your project is fully edited, and in this case I just have some bars and tone down here in the timeline just for something to work with, you'll want to go to export, which is under file, and then choose media. So just like you would normally export. After you choose your format preset, output name, and save location, down here under effects, you simply click on time code overlay. And now, as you can see, it actually adds time code to the video. If you click the drop down arrow, there are additional settings. You can choose where on screen you want to have it be placed, but I'm generally choosing bottom center. You can manually offset the X and the Y axis, but again, I'm pretty much sticking with these standard settings. Um, you can also choose the size. 15 seems kind of small, but I'm generally going somewhere between 15 and 20 because once it's blown up full screen, it's actually a lot bigger than it seems. Um, op opacity, I'm leaving at 40, um, and I'm keeping media file. If you want to generate your own time code or use an alternate frame rate or even choose the actual number of frames, like for example here at 22 seconds, 10 frames, that's actually 538 frames in, so pretty interesting. But you've got all kinds of options here. Um, again, I'm just sticking with media file so that the time code lines up with the actual video. So that's what I'm going with. And then once you have all your settings ready, simply click on export. Now that the file is exported, I can open it up and preview it. So as you can see, we have time code burned into the exported video showing up right in the bottom center. So pretty useful. It's much easier and convenient than the other way because you don't have to add effects, you don't have to worry about re-rendering, and it's just a small little extra step during the export process. So I hope you found that helpful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.